Hello guys and welcome back to Agrarian Skies, a modded skyblock map which is pretty kind of cool. It has a quest system in it. Uh, what's more fun than uh, than having a quest system in a skyblock map? Because in a skyblock map, you really want to have the interest going on and on while you play the map. So a quest system will actually keep the interest going. And this quest system is actually pretty refined. I believe it's actually made by some mod authors out there. I'm not too sure. But I've actually went through some of this and I believe I have the right to actually give some tips on automation in general because I've actually created myself some nifty and useful contraptions that I think that you guys should really know how to build them to actually continue with your skyblock career so let's crack straight on so basically my my base uh, revolves around this smeltery and I have uh, some crucibles uh, getting myself uh, some lava if I really need to and I have a portable tank uh, from one of those quests You are required to craft one of these. Uh, I'm using this to actually store my lava my excess lava uh, just for emergency purposes and Yeah, it's it all revolves around this melterie and because uh, if you get dust from uh, From sieving stuff you actually get double your ores by using this melterie, which is kind of good I use this like Every day, every day, every day, and here's uh, all this dust which I keep spare. And I, I don't think I really need this nickel ore dust, so I just leave it here for the time being. And yes, I have a automated stuff which I will show you now. Uh, I'm using autonomous activators, uh, two of them to be exact, and one lever to flick on. And it's a standard cobblestone generator with like uh, glass covers, and it breaks, and then the gravel gets sent into the item hoppers. and uh, technically it gets sent all over to this side and the autonomous activators just yeah you know, get saving saving those gravel into what we'll call the and then saving the gravel into stuff and it'll go in it'll, it goes inside the vacuum popper and goes inside the chest which I have tons of all which I've yet to actually process them and basically this is all my stuff uh, I've got 13 diamonds nine emeralds amber blocks I decided to compress them down to block form to save space, uh, set a squats uh, from sieving sand, and yeah, you can actually get diamonds and emeralds from sieving gravel, I guess. Yep, nether quartz is from sieving nether netherrack. Yeah, so basically, this is all my ores and stuff. I'm not trying to show off, and I actually got myself a tool forge, which uh, I went ahead and craft a hatchet. I believe uh, I had uh, some. S I had auto smell on it so I can actually use my tree form which I'm gonna show you right now it's a automated tree form and it's semi automated because uh, I have to manually plant those uh, saplings down I, I have a planter but I can't actually use it I don't have really I don't have power going through this part but what I would do is to actually use this hatchet to actually take down like my entire forest of trees and actually get some get some charcoal from those and to actually power my furnace generator from I think open blocks or something I've got a mysterious magnet to suck those in and my hatchet come on I got to take those down to actually show you how much charcoal I actually get from taking down all these trees uh, I'll have to replant them later on but uh, who cares it's simple it's not that difficult and I actually get a lot I actually get loads of charcoal from that to actually power my furnace generator thing from extra utilities to power my pulverizer they're running low on power so why not just throw in some charcoal inside my glacial precipitator from one of those quests and basically this is my ignis extruder I'm producing cobblestone passing through this and it smelts the cobblestone it pulverizes cobblestone into gravel and possibly some sand in which I will be storing them in this barrel and it's gonna pass on to the other side which is gonna be pulverizing gravel getting sand and sometimes even dust uh, so I have like tons of sand here and for a while there I was pulverizing some black wool to get myself some insects but now I don't really need those insects because I have a god squid uh, I'm ha I have a rancher here ranching this squid to get uh, a ton of uh, insects but I mean this ranchers actually require power so I don't have the leadstone energy conduit to actually connect this rancher up to this one because redstone is actually pretty scarce in this map and yeah, this is my cobblestone supply and my charcoal supply barrels. I'm using barrels and stuff. And yeah, and this is my. Uh, it's a simple farm, nothing special. I just have a sprinkler down if if the aqueous accumulator thing. And I've nether warts, cactus, sugar cane. I've and the lilies. Uh, they take quite a long time to grow. Like I've, I mean, ever since I've planted them, I've actually gotten like one harvest. That's all. And I've 
gotten some mushrooms from uh, a reward bag. Uh, they actually gave me like a couple spawn eggs. Pretty cool. I actually got a pair of spawn eggs. So I just spawn them down, breed them, start breeding them a lot. Yep, that's pretty much it. Ah, okay, I've got more charcoal. Okay, uh, that's. I don't know what to show you around this anymore. Uh, I have some sheep going around the back, and yeah, uh, and I also have a nether portal to the nether. It's actually kind of dangerous there. I really don't want to uh, sacrifice my life and. Yeah, I've been living my life with carrot juice. Uh, carrots only heal you for half a hunger in this particular map because uh, they actually limit your hunger regen regeneration like the chicken wing shit. Uh, so I've been surviving on carrot juice which is kind of simple to make. You just need a juicer. And yeah, wait, let me show you guys how to get some carrot juice. Uh, you get some carrots, throw it in with the juicer. And yeah, you get carrot juice. Uh, you get quite a lot. You get quite a big boost of hunger thing. And yep. Uh, that's basically my my map, and the Nether is pretty dangerous. I I died like three times inside the Nether. It really isn't a place you want to go. And I've got some hoppers running in from my mob spawners into this, which is kind of kind of full. I really got to empty them. And I've some barrels storing them. So I've got like some stuff here, and I've got like you see my inventory here. It's basically, pen of destiny. I've caught this thing. Got some. It's there's a master level to this thing and then slow when you use it more often it gets high levels and you get some bonuses on that thing so I actually gotten like luck haste and uh, I actually added a diamond on it to actually increase the durability and I've got whoa what the heck so I've actually gotten like uh, I've actually mustered my axe which is kind of good I actually got auto repair on it not uh, I didn't add a moss on it it generally grew on the thing it's it's an upgrade that I got while leveling up, uh, and I've got this blood altar from this new mod. I've actually never heard of it though. Uh, you got to sacrifice your own hearts to actually get some blood, and then you have to do some magical things with it. I'm currently working on a uh, Tomcraft, a uh, Tomcraft. Uh, if you would, okay. I I, w I haven't big I I haven't gotten far in Tomcraft yet, but there's a way to get fire shards, and you know in time to come. I've got some ethereal essences from. The reward bag is kind of crazy to have a, such a big amount. You actually get quite a lot. You actually get like 16 of each of those ethereal essences from one reward bag. I actually got twice of the same shit. And yeah, and actually got some of this from reward bags too, which I could actually add on to my stuff. I actually added a ball of moss onto, I think, one of my tools. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I've actually gotten into the cooking part of the mods which is really kind of cool you got, really got to try this map out oh, this is just a tips and tricks and updates and stuff I really don't know what to do I re really recommend you to play this map I will be doing further more of this if I get in um, like deep into the map I guess you could say and yeah I'll be showing you more stuff in time to come if I really have the time and yeah and I'll see you guys next time peace